Tukas can do whatever it wants, right? Again, whenever you think of nephrotic and nephritic, think of it in these three layers. Go endothelial first. This is your subendothelial layer. Then you got your mesangium and you got your subepithelial layer. Right here. Now, typically, as a global rule, you can almost imagine when it comes to nephritic syndrome, you're going to be affecting your glomerular endothelium. Whenever you think of nephrotic, you think of affecting your epithelium, right? Your podocytes. So here, when you think of these immune complexes, what's going to happen is the immune complex is going to come and deposit in your subendothelial layer. But lupus is a little bit more unique. It doesn't just stop with endothelium. It will come and it's going to deposit in your subendothelial layer, primarily, right? It can cause damage here, but it can also go to your mesangium. Okay, can go to your mesangium, but it can also deposit in your subepithelial layer. That's the thing about lupus. Lupus can do whatever it wants, right? So it can actually deposit the immune complexes across the whole three layers. 